What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli, you can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 11.2 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays Powerful People. If you're excited for today's episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, comment on this video, tell me how excited you are about it, and share it with anybody you think might like it. In this episode, Powerful People, the first thing we have to do, of course, is click here to reveal the effects of the old god stirring. Roads closed. Le roads leading out of town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. Uh, investigating places located outside the city, village, mansion, forest, costs 1% doom more. All right. Time to head to our home. Take the key. Here's our statuette. Let's, uh, yeah, of course there's nothing in there. We expected that. We shall bathe. Ah, man, I want the experience, but I need the reason, dude. We need reason. Um, and yeah, let's go. Time for another run at this mystery, powerful people. The bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anyone can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use, the, many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics, everything from video games to sports to idol culture, whatever idol culture is. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. <laughs> Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? Let's find out. So we need to investigate the forest location twice. Okay. Uh, even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there is no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work? Question mark? Let's go to the forest real quick. Investigate here. Hillside thicket. The trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Minus two reason. Oh, good. Um, let's go to the store. Dog treats pretty cool. Compass is even cooler though. I like that. Let's go with the compass. Plus two experience for each investigated location. Hell yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go rest. Uh, you swallow the painkillers, your phone. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Plus three stamina. Plus three reason. Time flies by so fast you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Plus four percent doom. Hey, that raised our stats. Look at that. Chaos rises. All stats improved. Hell yeah. Um, I guess we'll go to the school. Uh, out of funds. What up, dog? I guess I'll go with peace of mind since Doom helps me in some ways. At least it's not a total loss like every other thing would be. Plus 5% Doom plus 2 funds. All right. Um. Hmm. Kind of want to do the shop again, but I don't know. I'll just investigate downtown. I forgot. I didn't. My bad. I forgot to read that. Uh, the investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus four percent doom. All right. Let's go back to the forest again. Oh, chaos rose again. Wow. And we level up. Strange markings. We need flashlight. Okay. 
A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Uh, we get art knowledge, pickpocket, and outdoorsman. Um, perception. Higher chance of finding items after combat. That's pretty cool. Or the luck one. Hmm. Let's go with the uh, pickpocket and strength. Try to decipher them? Knowledge check failure. You wonder what it could all mean. I certainly do. We got the forest note. Oh, after searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Damn. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Shared death and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone is here waiting. Everyone here is waiting for you. So if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. So creepy. Dot, 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 it says when we investigate it further. Okay. Very creepy. And we have fulfilled that. Uh, you lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your uh, apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. Some of them are. That is very true. Suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Oh, what up, dude? A gigolo. Wow, he's just living that gigolo lifestyle, huh? He does reason damage, of course. Uh, which thrills me to the core. Um, he only has 10 power, though. Ooh, damn. Fucking bringing it with this tune right here. Wow. Let's go for the flash. <sighs> Makes me sad, but I gotta do it. Alright. Six damage. We take one hit. Now we have 90% chance to hit. Dude, this song is fucking killer, by the way. Alright. That's it. Boom. We defeat Gigolo. He kisses the air. That's funny. Uh, 14 experience. You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. I'm acting as quickly as I can. Not really, I did investigate the forest, but you know. You know. Ooh, shit. The good old desperate s solution. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. God, it's so fucking crazy. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, feeling a faint... Seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors minus two stamina. At least it's not reason. Thank God. Speaking of which, I think we should go rest. Yes, I like that. Um, hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. Or chaos, I'm sorry. The staff look ex looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. All right. All my stats just went up. Blood drive, huh? A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today we are running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so kind and help the community? No. Damn it. You make an excuse and leave the disappointed nurse behind. Minus one reason. All this reason lost. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' house at the village in the, in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital 
and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Okay. Okay. How should I go about this? Should I go to the shop? Yes, I will go to the shop. I'm gonna buy the dog treats. And then I'll go do this. Moving company? Oh, dang it. I need the flashlight. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Help your friend. Strength check, success. You find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company's truck driver's face. Holy shit. Plus five experience. I don't think I've ever passed that check before, so that's kind of cool. As you push, or as you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus, bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. God, I fucking forgot about that one. That's fucking horrifying. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Yeah. I can see why. Ooh, masked figures. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing-looking masked figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? Yes. Hey, what up? We knew it. The prophecies were true. The masked figures relax a bit, taking off their masks. So we apologize for this, Master. We got uh, Kyoko plus 5% doom plus 1 extra damage. Wow, the forest wants her dead. Kyoko gets closer. Should we be wearing masks? It looks like everyone else is. Okay. Okay. And Fujiko. Uh, Sukebon girl. Your kick action deals an additional one damage. Hermph. That's funny. Um. Fu oh, it's Fujiko. I thought it said Fukiko. My bad. Maybe I didn't even think that. I don't know. I'm confused now. Maybe I'm confusing Kyoko. I don't know. Should we be wearing masks? It looks like everyone else is. I don't know, dude. Missing hiker. Interesting. All right. Um. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your efforts to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. All right, damn. The Curious Bookstore. Do I have anything to sell? No, of course not. Every time I get to this place, I don't have anything I can sell, which makes me sad. I want to buy a magic item, but I've never had enough money. It looks cool, though. I like the parrot. Uh, sorry, just looking. Wait, you've stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Ask the tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. Damn it, I wish I could. Man. Sorry, I'm just looking. Take your time and see you soon. What a nice guy. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Yeah, I, I get that. It's real creepy. More village, please. Whoa! Uh, you stand in the middle of the field, frozen in terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's our world that's just an illusion. Wow. Let's enter the portal. You and the figure get closer to the portal, ready to swap places. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. 
bleeding desert. A parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Let's dig through the sand. Failure? Son of a bitch. Digging through, digging beneath a stone pillar, you unearth a chest. Inside, you find a rotting human head, minus three reason. Damn. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. Let's investigate computer, y'all. Welcome home. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can, you can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. Suffering is human or you can't save everyone. Uh, suffering is human. How can you believe that? Well, okay, if you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips, but the time by the time you snap out of it, you're strangling yourself with the phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, but the struggle brings out strength you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. Minus 5 stamina plus 15% max stamina. Okay. You listen to the staticky signal on the other Ned, which is supposed to say end. It's harsh to your ear, but then the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. Oh, what up? It's together, everyone. It does one to all. Oh, man. We only have a 46% chance to hit. Oh, God, that's terrible. All right. Uh... That's so weird. It has 44 power. Let's see. Let's do that. Can I hit you at all? No. Dang it. Um. This is like one of the coolest bosses in the game, if not the coolest. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Uh, get a reason back for some of the stamina we we're overflowing with, basically. Uh, oh, they died. Dang. Why should you resist? It asks. It wonders. Um. It's so weird that it had 44 power to me. Uh, do that and ask for some more help, and. That is all, I guess. Nice. Um. We, di we were able to distract them, which is pretty good. This music is intense. Uh, hmm. That looks good. That's exactly 200. That's cool. You don't see that all the time. Uh, shit. Only have four reason left. This is so bad. Okay. 76% chance to hit. Hmm. 
Well, that's, that's something right there. All right. We gotta, we gotta take this thing down, though. This is getting painful. Um, I missed the attack? Damn. That's really bad. Wow, that's a, that's a ton. Come on, let's not miss, though. Okay. Wow, we only have one reason left. This is insane. Uh, yeah, that that looks like a good chance. Boom! Thank fucking god. That gave me 20 experience. That's a lot. But then I only got 15. Why is that? Why did that happen? You wrenched the phone from your ear, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself for that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. From the bulletin's number and, f and a phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still-running, unplugged computer. That's fucking crazy. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the suicides eventually slow. While you couldn't ha couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know the bulletin won't take any more victims. Ending B. 30 experience, 15 experience, minus 4 doom, plus 1 day. Wow, and we have one reason left. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, we get to level up. Adrenaline. Faster combat actions. Ooh, I like that. And definitely going for some reason. Definitely. Alright. Powerful people. What? What a ride that was. Good lord. I was like, for real, we're gonna we're gonna lose? We're gonna lose in the second one to reason? This is craziness, but nope, we didn't. We made it. And uh that means that we made it all the way to the end. So you've watched this whole episode, I assume that means you liked it. So please go ahead and hit the like button if you did enjoy it. It helps me out a lot. Also, uh, if you're interested in helping out, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Comment on this video and please share it with anybody. That would be very helpful if you share it with somebody else. Um, but now, powerful people, uh, I got to get going so that I can start the next one. But until then, you can call me... Super Kid. My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, powerful people. Peace and love. <laughs>